Hey, what's up? It's Harvey Slater, Holistic Nutrition Coach. How's it going? So today I'm playing around with some butternut squash noodles that I got at the grocery store already cut up for me. They look super fresh and amazing and I'm gonna whip up some pes uh, pesto made of hemp seeds and show you how easy it is to make a nutrient dense meal out of these butternut squash noodles. So check it out. Okay, what I love about making pesto is that you can put everything into a Cuisinart or food processor and just grind it up. You don't have to cut anything or do any kind of chopping, just nominal peeling of some garlic cloves and just pulling the basil leaves off of the basil and that's about it. So we're gonna combine all this stuff all together. So I've got about one cup of fresh spinach leaves and these are just packed into a one cup thing. It doesn't have to be super exact. This is two cups, pretty much, of fresh, beautiful basil. And that's been de-stemmed. We've got a half a cup of cashew raw. One third cup of whole hemp hearts, AKA hemp seeds. Three cloves of garlic. You can also put four cloves if you like it extra garlicky. And then we have one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. We are going to put the top on this baby and give it a spin. Didn't even take that long to get it ground up this much, which is uh, nice and simple. We're also gonna add a little bit of sea salt and some fresh cracked pepper for taste. I usually start at about a half a teaspoon and maybe even less of pepper until I know for sure how, I, how it's gonna taste. And then at this point, you're gonna need to scrape the sides down a little bit because the uh, mixture gets caught up on the side of the bowl. And you can always add a little bit of water or lemon if you wanna thin it out just a little bit. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of both. Remember if you add lemon, you're gonna get a little bit of lemon flavor on it, which is okay with me. And we're gonna grind that up some more. And we're just gonna let that run for just long enough for it to become a paste and get into a nice blended pesto. We've all had pesto, so we know what it's supposed to look and taste like. I'm also going to add my favorite plant-based flavoring, which is kind of like a secret weapon, but not necessarily. That's uh, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and you can do a little more. It gives a cheesy kind of dairy flavor, so it's a good substitute for the Parmesan cheese that you would normally put in pesto. Okay, and you always just want to have a little spoon so you can taste and make sure it tastes good. Oh, those flavors are balanced just perfectly. So now we're ready to make our butternut squash. Okay, so the best part of the rest part of this recipe and the best part is that it's extremely, extremely simple, especially if you get these butternut squash noodles already made at the uh, store for you. They're all cut up. Butternut squash might be kind of hard to uh, make into noodles on your own. You might, if you want to do it yourself, you might want to try sweet potatoes or something like that or zucchini. But um, I went ahead and bought two packages, so I've got this package already open. So I'm basically got a pot of about a quarter cup of water. And the reason for that is we don't want to turn this into mush. So we're just going to put this in this little bit of water and we're going to cover it and just bring it up to temperature. We are not going to try to cook it too much. The squash is actually really good raw al dente when it's cut like this. So we don't want to smush it too much, but we do want to bring it up to temperature. So I'm just going to leave it like that, maybe five minutes at the most, and let it get warm, and then we're going to add the pesto to it. 
Okay, it's actually only been about two and a half minutes and this, these noodles are hot and they're still al dente and they are ready for the pesto. So I'm gonna take the pesto that we made earlier and I'm gonna start by just putting about half of the pesto. So you might be able to actually save some of this pesto for another time, but you basically just put it in there and it should be a little bit of moist from all of the, I mean from the little bit of, uh, of uh, water that you put in there in the beginning. And you're just gonna toss it gently and see this is why you don't want to make the noodles too mushy because once you mix it up, you want it to be really good consistency. And you might wanna actually go ahead and add just a little bit more water or broth to it because that'll just help the pesto distribute a little more evenly around it so it's not too sticky because pesto with the with the nuts and the hemp seeds has a quite a bit of fat in it. And that's another reason why we didn't saute the noodles because I didn't want you to add any more oil than you had to. But this is basically what it looks like. And then, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a few beautiful fresh heirloom tomatoes. I think the fresh cool tomatoes along with that is gonna look really, or gonna taste really, really good. And then I'm gonna garnish the top of it with a nice big fresh sprig of basil and there you have some absolutely gorgeous butternut squash pasta with hemp seed pesto and tomatoes totally 100 percent plant-based super nutrient dense and super awesome and good for you let me know what you think make it soon and let me know all right thanks for watching bye for now